2nd of August is a very important day because the US debt ceiling deadline, which was actually put in place by the credit ratings agencies because they said if that we don't see uh, that hiked, then that's when they're going to get the downgrade. So that debt ceiling and is there. that's also when they'll yeah. have to start you know, not yes. paying certain of their bills. But it's also very significant, 2nd of August here in South Africa, and you can yes. tell us why. They're going to open the car train. So there's this problem in the last link between Rosebank and Park Station, Water, Central Joburg. Yeah, I was thinking they could just use that as like a wash station, you know, for the train. They could have guys with squeegees, but apparently not. They're going to close that section, but at least it means for the poor saps that travel every day from Joburg to Pretoria and Pretoria to Joburg, there's now going to be a new option. Fantastic news. So now I'm deeply conflicted. You know, do we wait for debt apocalypse? You know, the second of, or do we wait for the car train drive? I think everybody's going to be queuing up to take a you know, Disney trip to Pretoria. <laughs> Very exciting stuff. <laughs> MTN was up so significantly, up two and a quarter percent. Why? Yeah, why? I, asked this, I don't know, I asked Simon, he didn't know. Well, we've got lots of stocks we own for clients, but the two, I mean, almost everything was down, but the two that were up quite sharply today were uh, MTN and City Lodge. I mean, City Lodge has really been in a total funk, up 4% yeah. at the close. So I don't know what's going on but there. But it's either. come under significant pressure, and we know the most recent numbers as well don't look Yeah, that so when I say up, impressive. it's trading at 64 Rand. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'd like to see it trading at 94 Rand. But, okay, know. so um, Chinese interest in gold mines. Well, that's another funny story, you know. I mean, there's this Chinese company called Wing Hing. I kid you not, that's what it's called. It's listed in Hong Kong. They bought a gold mining asset. I don't even know what it was. They bought a company offshore which owns the rights to a defunct gold mine which is somewhere between Joel and Beatrix, which is under the ground, somewhere near Urndals Riss, north of Valcom. But this is a mine that the South African miners that have been picking around there for the last six decades couldn't find a way to make any sense of, and they bought it for four and a half Hing did. billion rand. So people are asking, what do they know that we don't? I reckon they're just stupid. They don't think, I, don't, I just don't think they know what it is they're buying. You never want to talk about the rand. But yeah. today you are concerned that it's actually <laughs> hurting us. No, I don't care about the RAND, but all I'm saying is that's the reason why our big mining stocks are down. I mean, at 660 or whatever it is, what can you do? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Paul. Much appreciated. And, but yes. incidentally, yeah. I've decided I'm not going to shave until they lift the debt ceiling. <laughs> and then what if they don't? Lift? <laughs> what, if, what if they use the 14th Amendment? If the US defaults, then I'll be like Rip Van Winkle. You know? <laughs> not going to happen.